Hey everybody, welcome to the next part of my Pokemon Red Bugs Only playthrough. So in our last little outing with this, um, it was somewhat uneventful as the intended method of acquiring a specific Pokemon named Scyther did not pan out in the attending or the in uh, the intended way. Uh, now there's nothing necessarily wrong with that, but um, I do have an alternate plan, and we're gonna go ahead and tackle that right now. So first things first, um, I gotta go head over to the Pokemon box over here, and I am going to deposit one of my Pokemon, and that is going to be probably. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's get rid of Beedrill for right now. All right, and we're gonna withdraw my Slowpoke. And we're gonna withdraw my my ducks. All right. So we got our cutter and our flyer. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our slowpoke to teach it strength. And first we gotta go obviously to here to do that, which I believe is this guy. Yep. We give him his teeth back. And he's gonna give us the HM for strength. And obviously this is important. Um, because my goal right now is to teach strength to Slowpoke and also teach it Surf so that we can go ahead and kind of do this little roundabout thing. So, let's go ahead and take care of that right now. Um, so we got TMO3, or HMO3, we're going to give that to Slowpoke. And we also have HMO4, which we are going to also give to Slowpoke. All right, so we got our strength user and our surfer. Um, and it's really cool when you get to do this because of how um, far-fetched and um, slowpoke pretty much take care of all the HMs you could possibly need in the game. And they're really relatively easy to get. Um, so that's something that I'm probably gonna be doing on a few other runs, but what we're gonna do right now, um, we have a bit of um, navigation to take care of. So. Here's the plan, is we're going to go ahead and head to Cinnabar Island. And I mentioned a second ago that um, my goal is to get my final bug Pokemon in Scyther. So the way that we're going to do that is actually via the game corner. So we're going to do a little bit of a kind of work around here to have to not worry so much about the... Um, do I have Repel still? Um, not worry so much about the... Uh, catch chance and chance to like find a specific Pokemon um, while we are in the Safari Zone because that just takes forever. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to actually make use of a very well known glitch in the original Pokemon games uh, which is the missing no glitch in order to acquire the Pokemon that we are looking for. Now we're just going to avoid all these guys in the process. Um, I put Pinsir out front just because I think that makes the most sense for everything that we're about to do. Wow, that was perfect. All right, so we got to Cinnabar Island. Um, that's really all I needed. So I'm just going to go to the Poké Center first. I, for some reason, feel like you can't fly until you heal at the Pokémon Center. I feel like that's actually not true, but for some reason, I just believe that right now. Um, so hopefully that's not making me look like a fool, even though I probably am. Um, but uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, so here's what we're going to do now. So if you do not know how this glitch works, um, and for those that do not already know, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the way this works, um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, um, is that when you talk to the old man that teaches you how to catch a Pokemon in Viridian City, um, it messes with some sort of like internal value in the game that like it just it just changes something um, and so as a result for some reason um, when you surf on the right side of Cinnabar's Island or Cinnabar Island, excuse me um, You will encounter a Pokemon potentially called missing now um, so I gotta talk to this guy so he can show me how to do this. 
And when you encounter the missing now, um, what it does is it changes it so that like the sixth item in your inventory has like its value increased to some number in the hundreds. Again, I'm not specific on this. I just know that it's the general usage of it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to use it to get a ton of nuggets. Um, and the nuggets we're going to use to sell for coins in the game corner to then purchase a scyther. Okay. My cat just did something really stupid. Hang on. <laughs> He's running all over. So let's see if I did this right. Um, again, it's been a really long time since I've done this. So apologies here. And I don't know how this is going to work, honestly. But I know that if you just surf up and down here for a bit, eventually I will encounter something. All right. So there's a Squirtle. That's not what should happen. And it's level 160. So clearly that's Bizarro. And he just killed me with Hydro Pump. <laughs> I've actually never seen this particular part of the glitch happen before. That's really interesting. Uh, am I not going to be able to escape here? Am I just going to get swept by a level 160 Squirtle? Okay. Now, I don't know if it has to be that you've encountered Missing No. Yeah, I think it's you have to specifically encounter Missing No. Um, so give me a second. This might also not work because I'm doing this on um, not a Game Boy. So I actually don't know how this works. But we'll see. I've never encountered a level 160 Squirrel before. Usually it's a Golbat. There it is. Okay. So there's Missing No. Or M, I guess. Um, took two tries, but I think all we got to do is just run away. And now if I look at my items, yeah, you can see the nugget is like glitched. You can see that? Okay, cool. So what we're going to do now, <laughs> my cat just jumped across the screen, um, is we're going to head to Celadon City. And we first actually have to get the coin case, which I had forgotten to do. Um, this also might make other parts of the game slightly glitchy right now. Um, so I might have to save and quit. But first I have to pick up the coin case, which I have not done. Um, where is that, by the way? Where do I get the coin case? Shoot, I know it's in a building over here. Um, it's in one of these. Hang on. It's been a while again since I've done this, so give me a second. It's like some dude. Yeah, it's this guy, I think. Right? Oh, wait, no. It's, it's one of these guys, right? Oh, it's this guy. Okay. I'm glad that worked out. Now, where is the person that you can purchase money, purchase the game corner stuff from? I have to find that. I for actually forgot where that was. Oh, hey. They just like straight up tell you that there's a secret there, don't they? Okay, anyway. <laughs> Now, is it in the game corner that you do this? I forget. Honestly, guys, I apologize that I uh, don't remember. So apologies here. Um, is it in here? Or is it this guy? Okay. Oh, wait. First, I have to sell the nuggets anyway. Hang on. This is stupid. I need the money first. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Go to the Pokemart. Sorry about that. Now I might have to do this a couple times. Um, so, yeah. See that? Uh, I gotta do it to where. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna sell. 91. Okay, so I have 40 nuggets left. <laughs> I could I could dupe that again if I have to, but let's see if that's enough money um, to exchange for the game corner. My cats are going crazy downstairs right now. Sorry about this. This is really distracting. Now, theoretically, again, 
I'm only doing this because it's first of all it's fun but second of all um, nobody wants to watch me try to get a 4% catch rate for hours so it's probably the guy in here isn't it oh how many times do I have to do this oh wow I can't Oh, okay, we're gonna be here for a while. Hang on one second. Um, let's see if I can do this. Hang on. Apologies about the sound. So what we need, oh God, I'm gonna get like carpal tunnel here. Um, what we need is 5,500, I believe. So I have to mash A a lot while I speed here. Apologies about this, everybody. Nobody wants to hear this, so the music is quite frustrating right now. Apologies. Also, I have a little bit of a cold, so I apologize about the sniffling. All right, well, I sold a lot more than I thought I needed to. Apparently, I didn't need that much money, um, so apologies on that. Um, I might... Okay, so I'm going to forget that I did this at some point in the run when I need to go and like do the Elite Four and buy like, Bax Revives and stuff like that, so... Uh, apologies in advance that I have an absurd amount of money right now, but this is to complete the playthrough. So again, apologies about the music. Um, actually, you know, for the sake of your ears, hang on. I think I can turn off the game audio right now. Okay, so let me just do this real quick. Uh, I'm just gonna mash the mud. Um, but yeah, if you know, when there's a will, there's a way, right? As they say. So. Um, and I believe the scythe here that you get is level 30 or level 25, which is great because in four levels it will learn slash, which is an excellent move um, for scythe for scyther specifically because in Gen 1 it will pretty much always crit because he has such a high speed stat. All right, we're almost there, folks. This is really funny. All right, we're so close. Yeah, that's way more money than I could have ever needed. So anyways, this is also how you would ideally get Porygon if anybody's interested. <laughs> uh, okay, I think we're good. All right, let me turn the audio back on. Sorry about that. Um, so that was fun. I think I'm tired now. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, Nightshade? All right, sorry, one second. All right, just fixing some things on the stream real quick around my, my computer. All right, there we go. All right, so we got it. Now, I have an absurd amount of money, and I apologize, everybody. <laughs> I will not use that money for evil, I promise. But this is how we're going to go ahead and get Scyther. Oh, wait, do I need to have a free slot in my inventory? Hang on. I also ideally was trying not to use the speed up ability as, or the little speed up button as much as possible because it like messes with things. It would make this go so much quicker though if I did do that. But anyway, so we're gonna get rid of Slowpoke for the time being. He will come back later though, um, because I think I need to actually have a blank space in my inventory for this. Ooh, that sounds great. I have been sick for the last like two nights, so me eating has been like not always the greatest experience. Um, there he is, and that's how we get it. So this is ideally how you would um, get Porygon too. It's a really, really easy way to do it, but we got our final Pokemon over there. There's the Scyther. Look at it. What a terrible moveset it has. But thankfully, we have the TM, I believe, for takedown somewhere in here. Unless I already used it. That's Skull Bash. Where's takedown? Oh, it's toxic. I actually might teach it to this. Oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, so now that we did that, all right, I have to go and buy a takedown, um, which I know the TM number. Give me one second. Um, I can also deposit a couple things in my inventory. But anyways, the next step is we are gonna head over to Saffron City um, to do the, um, what is it? We're gonna go ahead and do the um, Sylphco quest. Okay, which TM is it? TM, the takedown TM is 
TM number nine. TM number nine. Okay, so let's do that. Obviously, money is not a problem right now. Oh, frick. Okay. Well, let me sell the Skull Bash TM. I don't need that anymore. Um, wait, did we see that with Skull Bash, I think? Or is there something else here I don't really need? I guess I can get rid of the Awakening. Okay. And then we're gonna we're gonna we'll do a little bit of inventory management here. Alright, but Scyther needs at least a move, so we gotta give it that. Um, unfortunately, Scyther's moveset doesn't really get much better than what it currently is, so... Wait. There it is. But, this is gonna give it at least a decent attack to use that'll help it level. So, there's a couple little milestones that we're gonna try to reach um, with this particular team soon. Um, I wanna try to get Scyther to 29. I want to try to get Butterfree to 32, so that it will, well, Scyther at 29 will learn Slash. Uh, Butterfree at 32, I think we'll learn Psybeam. And Venonat at 35 will learn Psybeam. Um, so those would be really, really good for just kind of, you know, improving the overall power level of my team um, and what we're trying to accomplish here. So, yeah. What was I going to say? Um, okay, are we good? Am I on the screen? Okay, great. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes streaming is complicated. I'm doing this from a laptop, um, so it's like I have multiple windows open and I'm not cool enough to do like one of those dual screen things, you know? Uh, like my light screen and my reflect. Uh, Pokemon jokes. All right, it really wasn't. Uh, and then we'll get rid of the... I don't think I need the super rod anymore. Yeah, I don't need most of these items anymore because um, we've done everything we've needed to. There goes the HM. Um, and then we're getting rid of the coin case as well. We don't need that. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and set, head to Saffron. Um, can we just go right there? You know what? Actually, you know what we're going to do before we do that? Uh, we are going to go to... Well, we're not going to do... Um, <laughs> uh, we're going to go and head to... Uh, the fighting gym first because this is actually a place where this team would shine um, because we resist fighting moves really really well um, so we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna get rid of the uh, far-fetched for the time being because we're gonna spend a decent amount of time here in Saffron City we're gonna bring Beedrill back out and look guys it's the full team let's take a look so just so far um, oh, my pincer's fainted, but um, there's the pincer. It's pretty much got its move set. Um, all I got to do now is teach it um, slash, which I think is like a level 39 skill. It's, it, it learns it way later, like 40 or something. Um, so Butterfree is almost where we want it to. There it is. Sleep Powder Stump or Psychic, and then Confusion will be replaced for Psybeam. Venonat hasn't learned any of its good moves yet. It also hasn't evolved yet, but we'll get there. Um, Parasect. Oops. <laughs> Um, pretty much knows its moveset, but again, we're waiting for Slash, but you can see it right here. Um, you know, Dig, Mega Drain, take, uh, Slash will be replacing Takedown. Oh, and Spore will be replacing Stun Spore. I forgot about that. Um, Scyther, like I said, we're just going to have it learn Slash, um, and it's going to learn Swords Dance, too. I might teach it Toxic, and then we have Beedrill for Poison String Shot are going to go away and become Agility and Swords Dance, and then Twin Needle Double Edge will be its last two moves. So we're pretty close to kind of optimizing this team as well in terms of movesets, um, at least for Gen 1 as far as that's concerned. But um, my main um, thing here right now is I want to level a little bit, um, and I think the Fighting Gym is a good place to do that because none of the Pokemon there are going to be a huge threat against anything on my team. I mean, it still could be, but... Um, I would really much like to get just a little bit of experience here before I go into Sylphco because the rival fight is going to be pretty challenging um, and I am not looking forward to that so yeah let's fight these guys if you guys are cool with that just waiting for me to do a little bit of leveling here um, but yeah this is going to be fun now that I got the full team so what level are these guys oh 31 okay well pincer level 20 um, let's see how we do here Oh, hey, I outspeed. speed. 
Oh, well, that's a bad matchup. All right. Um, let's go into Butterfree. <laughs> I might need more. You know, there's, there's a couple other places where I haven't really fought some trainers, um, which I might tackle as well, like the uh, bike, the cycling road. I didn't really do any fights there. Um, it's a great level, though. That's pretty good. All right, I guess we're just going to level Butterfree here because I'm just going to use a bunch of psychics. So if I can get Butterfree to 32, then we'll get Psybeam, and that'll be really good. Okay, so one more to go. That'll be a good experience, okay. Oh, he has speeds, right? Crit, probably. Oof. <laughs> what do you mean everything kept exploding? Like your Pokemon kept fainting really easily? Is that what you mean? Okay. Oh. It's just a bunch of poison types though, right? And like a couple of like Voltorbs. Um at least to my knowledge. Oh, these guys are way higher level. Okay. Um I guess we go Beedrill this time. Use low kick. Wait, it's never gonna. They're never gonna use low kick. I'm probably gonna kill myself right now by doing this. Nice. Okay, maybe. Hang on, maybe. I can do enough damage here to where I can go in a Scyther or Venonat. Or he can just leer me another time. Ooh, wait, hang on. KO me, please. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to assume I'm going to outspeed here because I outsped them a chop. So let's see what happens. Yes! Okay, cool. That's a good chunk of experience nice okay I think actually if I if I take the time to level pincer will probably be the best thing on my team like throughout the run maybe pincer uh, venomoth but all right, let's switch venomoth first right now just because we can um, and then we're good Oh, jeez. Okay. Do I have Stun Spore on this yet? No, it doesn't have any of the good moves yet. <sighs> can take down. How much will this do? Or I'll just miss. Oh, sweet. He used Focus Energy. That's great. He's not going to crit me now, maybe. <laughs> hey, buddy. My cat's being really cute right now. So will this not crit because he used focus energy? No, he'll still crit. Or he'll just do that much damage. Oh yeah, because I was leered twice. All right. Let's bring in Scyther. Nice. Oh, we can quick attack. Priority, baby. That's right. All right, so there's a couple more fights here. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to level elsewhere, but um, I have a lot of doubts about my ability to actually complete the Sylph Co. quest. <laughs> so we're going to... I think we might have to level a bit. Today might be a very uneventful stream in terms of like progress, but it's necessary because I'm just... I'm so behind right now because it took me so long to get the full team. Um, and they're at so many varying levels. But they're evenly leveled. It's just like there isn't one Pokemon that can really carry right now. 
Um, which is interesting considering the fact that um, you would think, hey God, you would think that, sorry, um, having an evenly leveled team would be better than having like one Pokemon that can just, you know, one shot everything, but that's apparently not the case, <laughs> even though the game tries to make you think that that would be the way to go. Alright, so we got this guy here. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I should probably actually grab the tissues I left upstairs. I might go do that after I beat this gym real quick. This quote-unquote gym. But anyway, this will be... I think this will be what gets Butterfree to 32, and that's really what I want. Nice. You know, there's only five fighting types in Gen 1. Well, five, like, fully evolved fighting types. You got Primate, Polyrath, uh, Machamp, Hitmonlee, and Hitmonchan. Only five. Oh, hey, thank you for the follow. There's also only five ice types in Gen 1, too. I know this randomly because I've just been looking at it a lot more recently, but um, the other thing to keep in mind is that there are a couple other teams that I could create an entire team using that actually, yeah, I mean, so in terms of like, yeah, like, I think it's a nostalgic thing to be honest, but we finally got side beam. Um, I think these games are arguably the most fun to play because they're so short compared to other ones um so I, I enjoy playing the gen 1 games the most because they're short and they're easy and they're quick and it's just fun pokemon but in terms of like favorite generation probably like two or five i always say are my favorite because they just have the most interesting stuff in my opinion but yeah just just my opinion um, a lot of people I know like three. Three is a is a really big favorite for a lot because I think for a lot of people three is like their first Pokemon game, like uh, Ruby Silver or what am I saying? Ruby Silver, Ruby Sapphire and Emerald. Um, and the Battle Frontier was like a really big deal when it came out. You know, that's gonna do like four damage. Oh wow, it did even more. He got the flinch. Um, I actually have never played a Gen Four game. Fun facts. Um, so one day I'll get around to that. Um, I'm so anal. I'm switching that. Okay. <laughs> um, for some reason in my mind, like psychic needs to be the last move, you know, side be best to come before it. Oh, right. That's because their special is crap in this gen. I forgot about that. So Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan notoriously in gen two and beyond have a very good special defense stat. Especially Hitmonchan, I think it's like 110 or something like that. But before the physical special or before the uh, special split into special attack and special defense, um, it was actually the lower of the two stats. So Hitmonchan only learns the elemental punches, which in these games are special attacks, not physical ones. Um, and it has like a base 30 special attack or something like that, which is why Hitmonchan is arguably one of the worst Pokemon in Gen 1 because of that um it has a couple of gimmicks like it obviously can use submission it could you know do everything it needs to as a fighting type but like look at that like it's just so frail and weak um which is pathetic um uh, it's so bad especially because psychic types are like the best pokemon in gen 1 in terms of like you know competitive meta so it's really really funny all right yeah he's so bad like, Hitmonchan gets nothing in Gen 1. But he's, like, such a good Pokemon later on, especially with Assault Vest, you know? Like, you can just slap him on a team, and you have a Rapid Spinner with really good special defense. Like, and it, it's pretty good longevity because of Drain Punch. Like, Hitmonchan's great now. Like, even though he's, like, low tier or whatever, like, NU or PU or whatever, he's, like, a good Pokemon, and it's never a bad idea to take him for all the reasons I just stated. So give me one second, everybody. I'm just going to go upstairs and grab tissues because I'm going to need to blow my nose like 40 times today. So give me just one second.
Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So, um, leveling. Leveling. All right. Um, let's see here. Um, let's see, I'm going to go, this is Vermilion City, is this way, right? I think that's what I want. Wait, no, that's Celadon. Uh, wait, I'm trying to think right here. Saffron is left, Vermilion is down. Wait. No, this is correct, yeah, because I want to go to Cycling Road. Okay. Okay. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. So, there's 22, and we're just going to kind of spam body slam here for a little while. Is that super effective? Yeah, it is. Okay. Really, no paralysis yet. I'm really unlucky here. There we go. Oh, is that gonna KO? Ooh. Okay, we're gonna live to see another day here. But that was rather short lived, wasn't it? <laughs> um alright, let's just pull Scyther out. Yo, why are people trying to steal my bike? Being ridiculous. Oh no! Oh wow! I got lucky. All right. There's one level. I gotta get three more. Um, let's do this. I'm gonna sack myself here. All right. Strats, and then we're gonna go into the internet. Oh, I thought that would KO for sure. That's okay. With the amount of poison types here, I think I'll be okay. Um, even though this is not very effective, I think I should KO. Okay. Because um, I think I could leech life a lot of them. Awesome. I think I get Sunsport in a level or something. I know I learned something at 30, I think. Um, let's put Venonite. Yeah, okay. All right, Pincer's gonna die. <sighs> K. 
Okay, maybe there's not as many uh, types of that variety that I thought we would be hitting. All right, never mind. Um, let's go to Parasect. It didn't actually do that much. Yeah. I think I'll probably kill a dig here. Perfect. Out speed. That's super. Wow, that did like not nearly as much as I thought it would. It's kind of cool that everything can pretty much learn takedown. It's not the greatest move, but it works, you know? It's pretty nice for that specific reason there. Wow, okay. Um, let's see how much Leech Life does. Not nearly enough. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to switch out into Pinsir. And maybe he'll blow up. We're going into Beedrill just to give it a level because I think we need a little duty some out here. Yeah, so two hit KO. Oof. Big hit. Better not Mikey in a level? Oh, but we drilled it. That's what matters. All right. Use like a lemonade on it or something just to <laughs> heal it up a bit. I do also have five rare candies. I could use those um, to an extent to help things out, help things along a little bit, but. Probably not necessary. It's weird the way a disable works in Gen 1 too because, um, no, oh, okay. It's a quad resist, right? Yeah. Can I just poison him? Nope. I, I guess I should just be taking him down using takedown. Alright, I think I actually can KO him, which is kind of cool. I'm going to leech life here, because I think it'd be better to have the extra health, just in case. And then I think takedown should KO from this range. But what do I know? Okay. Good. Alright, anybody else up here? That guy is up here, in fact. Okay, we can do this one. I think Venonat could probably take out Grimer. This is like a terribly weak move, but it's still super effective, and it'll still give me some decent health back. So as long as he doesn't do more than that, 
Oh, sweet. I actually gained one more HP back than he dealt. That's kind of cool. My disable was disabled. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, cool. It's just a bunch of grimers. But I might run out of Leech Life. Why does Leech Life, for a 20 base power move, only have 15 uses? That's ridiculous. I'm gonna save these. I don't gonna see how much damage Take Down does compared to it. Oh wow, that's like not sufficiently more, but I'll I'll use one more. And then I'll take down. And I'm assuming his last Pokemon is gonna be Muck or something like that, but I could be wrong. So let's use take down. Or I won't. No! <laughs> Alright. Oh, sweet. That's great. We're gonna get rid of the Sable. I'm never gonna use that. Poison Power might have a, like a niche use, but definitely not. Oh, it's just another Grimer. Okay. Well, that's that, I guess. This is painful, using my, like, lower of the attacks. Alright. What? <laughs> That's like the one recoil. Okay, but that was good. So then I got that got to 30. Five more levels for that to get to where it needs to. Um, Scyther... Needs a bit more time here, but I think it'll be okay. Um, we gotta heal. see are there other places where I could level pretty easily <laughs> where would be another good place to level I'm trying to think here maybe I just go in and we'll see what happens um, I would like to go to the go get some like super potions and stuff though, but where's the mart? I think it's down here. Wait. Where's the Pokemart? There it is. Oh wow, I can only get hyper potions? Alright, well. Time to stock up, I guess. Because I have the money. <laughs> Unintentionally, I swear. I might as well buy some max repels while I'm at it, right? Okay. Now, is there anything I need to get in the Silph Co. place? 
Swords Dance. That's the last TM I get, isn't it? So seventh floor is where Swords Dance is. In my notes is what it says. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. See how this goes. If I get locked behind the rival fight for a while, I'm definitely going to level again, but this is debatable how difficult this will be. All right. As soon as I can get Slyther to get Slash, I think this will make this so much easier, but it won't be guaranteed, but like everything will get two shot at that point. So we'll see how this goes. Now, full disclosure here, I actually don't really remember a lot of the way to go through here. Um, so we're just going to learn as we go. I know the general idea as to how to get to where we need to, but the um, the whole like optimal route, no idea, absolutely no idea. Seriously. No. Come on, Scyther. Oh my gosh. Alright. Ooh, that's good experience. Okay. Am I going to kill myself? <laughs> yep. Oops. Um. I guess I'll go pincer here. I might as well, right? We get some decent experience here. No. Wow. What I don't understand is why I say confused no more. Why don't I just say is no longer confused? I always thought that was odd. No, oh, hey, I can use submission. If I live and or dot get flinched. That's cool. I have so many recoil moves. Jesus. <laughs> Don't KO. He can't. But hey, I can go back into Scyther. And he's quick attack. Right, two more levels. Let's do this. No way that chaos. Yeah. All right, well. That didn't really go off to a great start, did it? <laughs> Wait, I have some super potions, okay. Probably use the second one because I can. All right, let's use other revives I just bought. This is probably how I'm gonna get my way through here, honestly, is just by using some of this stuff. All right. Now there is a place where you could heal, I believe, throughout here. Um, trying to remember it's not this I will figure it out you just gotta give me a minute yes this is where I started I 
can't go to any of these places without the card key. I'm just gonna quick attack a bunch. Because I think Cubone still only can know Bone Club at this level. Or like it knows that or Tackle or something. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, he can't hit me, can he? <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Um, let's switch out here and go into Butterfree. Just because I can probably one shot with Psychic. Oh, Gen 1 miss. Okay, so. Let's keep going. I'll figure it out. It's got to give me some time. Alright, so this is clearly the way to go next. Um, don't need to fight that guy. I'm going to go to this thing. This takes me here. This guy is just sad. I feel bad for him. Okay. So not the way to go. Let's go upstairs. Can we just go around this guy? That's really funny. Okay, let's see where we can go. Ooh, it's one of the four Rocket Brothers. Okay. Oh, go that. Sweet. That's great. Take it down.
so unnecessary. But I'm using it. Keep in mind that all this is doing is just saving me from having to go back to the Poké Center. It's not really advancing or giving me any advantage whatsoever. Um, what's gonna, this going to take me to? I'm just going to blindly kind of warp around until something happens. Did I do this one already? Oh, interesting. Okay. Alright, the next rocket guy I see I will fight. There we go. And this might be my last little thing for tonight. It's just this fight right here. I just gotta make sure I save the game. Yeah, there is somewhere. Rest beds. I don't even know where they are though, but I know they're there, yeah. I think you can't access them until you get the card key though. Do I even mess with this? Hang on. Let's do it. Nine hundred, I said. No. No. All right. At risk, at the risk of losing the experience here. <sighs> Ooh, I dropped a special. That's even better. Psychic has like an insanely high chance to do that too in Gen 1, by the way. Like more than normal. Making it again one of the best moves in the game. On the best type in the game. Nice. Alright, so Scyther is like 100 experience points away from KOing or from getting what I needed to, so. This is definitely not the place I want to be. Is there anything over here? Alright, this is the last fight. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. I don't know, I just it's what I think of when I think of Golbat most of the time. Alright. So this should give me what I need here. So I'm just gonna switch out. I'm gonna go to Pincer. Maybe get an experience here. I'll take it. Nice. Probably KO with my script. Actually, I should have just seismic tossed there. That would have been a smarter option. Yeah. I think it's this one, right? Yay. We're going to get rid of double team because I'm not going to use that. Oh, geez. This is really bad. Oh, he's just going to leer me multiple times. All right, cool. That's free experience for Pitzer. But I think that should be it. All right, guys. So 
that's all I'm going to do for tonight. Um, I got to go. Uh, but thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. And we will pretty much conquer a good chunk of the rest of the game next time. Because we can just do this, the gyms, and Victory Road in relatively little time. Based on you know how everything goes. So thank you everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night.